Hello everyone, uh, FDA here with a very very quick update uh, for the LPU about to see like so many times when we record PS1 footage um, from my old as shit uh, English PS3 sometimes we have problems in post and um, you'll notice a, a handful of times the audio and picture are not perfectly synced we found in the edit that occasionally the video would um, skip over a few frames or like a second here or there it's not amazingly noticeable but we want to just to uh, note it here just so we didn't get um, seven comments saying this is not synced you guys dumb okay bye hello everybody I am FTA I am Econus fan I'm T Bay and welcome back to the end of the trilogy for the original Spiral the Dragon uh, trilogy, but in a couple months, this LP and all these games will be fucking useless because we got the fucking Reignite trilogy coming! What, 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 what? And the thing I'm even more excited about, we're actually three fourths of the way through the quadrilogy. Enter the Dragonfly, the true magnum opus that completely invalidates Reignited. I thought um, it was the Year of the Dragonfly. No. No, because this game's called Year of the Dragon. Oh, uh, okay. Check that out. The egg is somehow safe. Oh, I'm not used to having language options in Spyro. Because you don't come from a multicultural place of living. Let's play Dutch. Let's play Dutch. 12%? Hey. So we can use the best icon here, which is Sleepy Rhinoc Head. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a little sleepy cat. Oh, this An one... evil plot unfolds. This one doesn't start with The Adventure Begins. It's different. This is like a new ground. TJ, you know what to do? Yeah, alright, make the same joke again, guy. <laughs> I'll kick back here and watch the, the movie. P pick, pick a different voice and go. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, look, that, that's um, Skeletor, right? <laughs> <laughs> so right off the bat, I'm going to say this. I was thinking, I've been thinking about Spyro a lot lately for some reason. Um, <laughs> it's like I got crushed on, oh, man. I've been thinking about Spyro a lot recently. <laughs> not, not much has changed in my life, so let's say. But I was thinking about it. Um, this playthrough will help confirm this. I don't think Spyro ever talks to the sorceress, the actual main villain, once. The entire game. I don't think there's a single line of dialogue spoken to her from Spyro. Spoiler alert, I thought I thought she wasn't the main villain. I thought it doesn't it's she oh, that's Bianca. someone. Yeah. Then the sorceress oh, is called gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah. the sorceress, because they didn't give her a name, I guess. Oh my god. Fuck you, Hunter, you're useless. <laughs> and credits. <laughs> Powerful villain emerges. I will say, and I, I think we talked about this in um, <laughs> that walk cycle. Oh man, it's like slamming off SA one. <laughs> it's, it's like when Knuckles walks after Eggman after he fights Chaos <laughs> two. <laughs> um, I think this is something we've we've talked about, especially in our Spiral two LP. Um, Spiral the Dragon. You know, I, I love this franchise. I love Spiral as a character. He has fucking terrible villains. He doesn't have a memorable villain. Some people will tell you Sorceress is... Gnasty Gnork! Oh, that I, guy. I love Gnasty Gnork, but he's not a very good villain. He shows up at the beginning and runs away at the end. Yeah, his his, <laughs> bo his boss fight is him running away from you. Yeah. That's not a good boss fight. It's unique. What is this? It's a, different. What is this? Is a fucking Sonic game? I don't think so. Also, Ripto. Now, Ripto's only funny because you put a dumb skeletal voice in him. He's a I, shit boss. I find Ripto ironically funny, actually. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Our money bags, our shock. The sorceress is probably like the most evil of the three, but I, I, I can't, I can't even. He's so useless. She's not, she's not iconic, but like I wouldn't call her a good. Like she may be, she may be the best of a bad bunch, but I wouldn't call her yeah. good anyway. Like like Neil Cortex is a fucking good, memorable villain. Yeah, you know. Um, I, I always do this because I forget. Chris, what's the evil mask called? Is is that one Aku Aku? Uka Uka. 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 So the good one is Aku Aku. Uka Uka. Good boss, and then you have, have like the ones that just on, on a visual level, like Tiny Tiger, like the Dingle Dial, good design, like all of the. I thought you said Dingle Dial was a like Dingle Perk. <laughs> but like all of all of the the spiral. Bring out the butter. <laughs> I'm making toast. <laughs> all of all of the um, spiral villains have like pretty shit designs, and they're not memorable or good in any way, shape, or form. Oh, you broke it. There's no map in this game. So you're saying Spyro 2 is a bad game? Probably, yeah, actually. No, I, I like 3 more, the more I think about it. You know, it, it, it's weird, it's like, I, I as a kid, um, I seem to remember 
liking this one. Goddamn, all these speed running techniques. But um, you know, I'll we'll be getting into that. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Um, unlike with Spiral One and Spiral Two, I have not played this game in in years. I just, oh. I just remember this one. This could be memory run for you then. Being being better, although as Chris pointed out a few months ago, we talked about this all the f fucking mini game shit. Oh yeah. yeah. It to me it that, that kind of it it kind of fits in line with. In Crash 3, there are so many different vehicles and alternate modes that I, I think it gets slightly... Spy 3 does the same thing. Overwhelmed. Yep. Not overwhelmed, but it's like, oh, okay, guys, like, let's... let's Platform and curse. Let's, you know. <laughs> For some reason, she has a rainbow streak. streak. Why? I don't know. Oh, man. I cannot wait to see how they <laughs> interpret some of this bullshit. I know. That's what I think. I think more so with, like, where Crash... Crash was like a purely. Um, it seemed more one to one. I, I just think I just think there is a bigger. Spymo's eyes all connected to his head. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking. That's like some fucking Ed and Eddie shit. Yeah. Put in that weird Japanese sound effect. That everyone seems to go crazy for these days now. <laughs> so she's hitting them while we'll never find them. What in speed? <laughs> and if we do somehow find one, their highly trained army will stop me. Um, Chris, has this route been optimized? Yes. What were you saying about um, Crash Bandicoot? Are they remaking that? <laughs> I, hope, I hope they do. I was saying that like I, I think I'm more excited for the seeing how um, certain things are interpreted in the Spyro trilogy rather than Crash because um, I think there's there's a bigger I think I, I think there's like I would argue there's like twice as many character models in. Spyro than there are in Crash. Well, I mean, just just in terms of the games themselves, the Spyro games are always bigger games than I, Crash. I think there's been an interview with uh, Toys for Bob, and they said like three to four hundred character models so Damn. far across all three games, let alone everything else they have to do. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I mean, obviously, I mean that that's probably why it's taken uh, so long for this to be built. Although we should, of course, mention the worst kept secret. Oh in video God. game history, we were, we were, GJ was getting so frustrated every day. Like the uh, FTC uh, exclusive Twitter DM, which none of you have access to. He would, he would be like, you fucking, he would be like, fucking, everyone already knows about it. Fucking, just release it. Just fucking announce it. It's just like, it's just, it's fucking, just, I'm you think it would have been me doing this for a record? It's just <laughs> annoying because, like, okay, so the, the the whole thing got leaked like two or three months ago. Who, who did the original leak? That was Laura Kate Dale from Kotaku. I mean, that's fine, but like, I, I put less stock in those because people of, of that ilk, I'm not saying her specifically, I don't remember, but they've announced things that are, are bullshit. So, oh, yeah. uh, that's that's fair. What I'm saying is it got leaked like three months ago, mm -hmm. which is fine. Like you said, you know, some of these things end up being Most true. things, I mean, Rabbids got leaked months before it came yeah. out. Yeah. That was um, her as well, by, by the way. The thing that, right, we'll get her. The thing that tipped me <laughs> off was... Um, Part of the Spyro leak was they were like, um, Spyro is going to be on PS4 for a year, and then it'll come out on different other consoles. And then um, they were like... I'm just making fun of his standing pose, by the way. Oh. <laughs> his knuckles is tail. The classic knuckles had like the bit where it went across <laughs> up a bit. That's like a Sega should say. But they were like, uh, they were like... Uh, Crash Insane Trilogy is also going to do the same thing where um, now that it's been out for a year it's going to come to the Switch and other consoles. Mm -hmm. So when when the, that Direct happened in January and they said that Insane Trilogy was coming to the Switch, I was like, okay, that means that Spyro is, is coming. So then... No, no, I mean, no, I mean, not necessarily. So then... Um, but, like, it was just... It was such, like, a... You know... So are you going to tell me that it's... I know, I, I understand well, no, what I mean, you're I mean, saying. Like, I mean, like, a, 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 a leaker saying, you know, two different things, just because one of the things they predicted happened doesn't mean the second one will. I guess. I, know. Um, but so I was like, I was like, okay, now it's just going to get announced. Well, then, then they had that other leak where they were like, Spyro's going to get announced today, and then it didn't. Oh, badass. Oh. Don't get me on it. Don't get me started with that guy. Chris was mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um... Have you ever been so heartbroken, Chris, as all, all the time that they said, it's been revealed today, and it never happened? <laughs> it was pretty bad, because I thought he could trust the guy. Like, quick aside for no one knew, like, that guy, badass on Reddit, was like, yeah, you know, um, here's Black Ops 4, it's going to be announced today at this time, then it got announced today at that time, and everyone's like, oh shit, he knows someone at Activision. So he's like, oh, Spyro today, it didn't happen. He's like, oh, they pushed it back a week because of me, lol. And then next week, he's like, it's today. 
then later he's like, uh, well, actually, I just got the Black Ops 4 thing from a tweet. Uh, I just like the attention. But you guys fell for it, so fuck you. <laughs> fuck you! Oh my god. I mean, maybe, maybe this, this is, is a... Is, is a not fair assumption. But that's kind of how I feel for all of those like professional leakers <laughs> in a way. Um, okay, so then I, th I think the thing that really set me off was that um, so it didn't leak then, or it didn't it wasn't announced then, and it wasn't announced at like another time. I can't remember. But then they have to uh, listen to stream where they're like we're announcing something. Then yeah, they start a stream. He's like we're not announcing anything. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, did, so what, did Activision say that they were going to announce something? On that? They said announcement next week, and then there was a stream time set, and everyone's like, oh, of course. Then at the start of stream, he's like, oh, the announcement said there's no announcement. Also, you can see Hire Spot Hunter in two spots. Look at that. Hey. Oh, he's over there. So he's over so there. so the, so did they essentially pulled a uh, Sonic social media thing. Follow the numbers. Numbers mean it's going to be fucking nothing. <laughs> But uh, then, uh, then the the day that it really set me off was that when the, all those screenshots came out, and uh, I was just like, I was just like, all right, you know what? Everybody already knows that it's happening. Everyone knows that it. it I mean, it's all but confirmed by Activision. So just like, just fucking say it. Just say it. And then, like two seconds after I went on that rant, Chris linked me to the leaked. Um, <laughs> the leaked trailer. trailer. <laughs> and I was just like, all right, literally all like mystery is gone out of this. You gain nothing. <laughs> all right, Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awkward because like over you the, stall uh, fizzy lifting tricks. <laughs> over in the Spyro Reddit Discord, which is a uh, quite a concept to grasp. Spyro Reddit, Reddit Discord. Discord. Yeah, so there is like a link going around. It's like, oh man. Um, yeah, by the time this comes out, this stuff is like two month old news. By the way. But, <laughs> yeah, there's like some Mexican website or Spanish website, like with an Amazon page and an image. And they didn't give a link. I'm like, that's bullshit. So I typed the link in Amazon. And it's like, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, that was the other thing. The other thing was the the, the Amazon page. Yeah, with and, like the cover art on it. Yep, yeah, and I was just like, I was just like, just say it. Shit, get off the pot. Just fucking say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should point out, while we're here early on, by the way, we're not hundred percenting this game. Thank Christ. But I'm probably gonna hundred percent this first world because it's real easy too. So everything in here will hundred percent just to help give us a good foundation. That we'll need later to access the final boss. So I, I forget. Well, is, this, is this a game where things are locked just behind the eggs, or is it money as well? Or did it's treasure? eggs, but you need money for money bags and the levels. That piece of shit. You have... I'm money bags. I feel like I'm it... a piece of shit. I'm not sure if you have a smaller font or if I'm just used to my TV, but it feels different in this version. Hmm. It's probably because it's European. Probably. Stellar, yes. stellar commentary on my behalf, I realize. <laughs> Superior. 300 gems to free shield. He's the best character. Ba -ba -ba -na. <laughs> oh, get ready, DJ. It's our favorite song. Oh, no no hard feelings. feelings. Those little, like, intro uh, graphics. Title card, they remind me of, like, the title card for Sonic Boom uh, episodes. They just take it still frame and, like, put, a crappy, it. put like, a crappy filter over it. I'm gonna be right. No hard feelings, oh. eh? I know the Crash remake didn't have subtitles for some reason. I really hope they have it for Spyro. <laughs> Great yell. Oh, the, well, I mean, well, we did. I love when the original Crash had subtitles anyway. Right, but that's not mm. that's not anything though. Like yes. people with disabilities might value that. That's the that's one thing I'll say about Sega. Since SA One, they've always had subtitles for their games. Mm. Um, sometimes you can't turn the fuckers off, but they're always there. <laughs> exactly. I don't, I'm a subtitles on for everything kind of person, so yeah, when there. it's not there, it bothers me. Except if I'm recording footage for like a video, then I want subtitles off. But normally, I have more when I play. I have more. Her eyes, Jesus. her smile, her everything. I didn't say her name, but you thought of her, didn't you? Yeah, are they still talking? <laughs> Spyro's shitty friends, am I right? <laughs> Jesus. That should be the name of this game, Spyro and his shitty friends. <laughs> It's a sequel to Spider-Man and his amazing friends. So something that threw me off for a long time. I always thought you could just pay money bags and be fine. Like, she'd be unlocked in Sunny Vila, which is the next level, the first level. Yeah. You have to actually beat Sheila stage to unlock her, because I'm always going in there like, why can't I get into this? And I realized you have to beat the level to free her, even though you already paid to unlock her. <laughs> That's so dumb. God. But you want to do this first to save you some backtracking, because otherwise you have to go through Sunny Vila, 
back to this level, then back to Sunny Vila just to do Sheila's part there. Yeah. Speedrun strats. <sighs> so Hi Spyro, welcome to my dungeon. For some reason this dungeon is here. So this Bye. this starts I think one of one of the bigger complaints maybe about oh. about this game is as we said earlier, all of the fucking these crap different guys. characters and, and the fucking uh like uh, the, why? Why are there so many? This is like if you put this next to Spyro One, it is quite a, it is quite something to see how far they went with like the extra characters and NPCs and stuff like that. I like, like it. Constant people stopping you to tell you hints and stuff. But that I don't like. Well, I mean, this this it's like you you can easily see by Spyro Three, Insomniac will get bored <laughs> because they they put so many non spiral like levels in the game. There's a lot of not Spyro in this game. And I mean, like something, something like Crash put, putting him on vehicles is something I can understand, but like these are like completely different like playstyles. It's just it's crazy. I like Sheila's well enough. I feel like she's. Hey Chris, did they change the value of the red the red gem? Oh my god! <laughs> <sighs> I made that mistake one fucking time. Get fucked. They did change the gem sound though. I think. I swear. No, they didn't. <laughs> oh, let's pull up a YouTube video. Prove me wrong. They oh, n he's going to actually do it. They better not change it in the uh, hey, remakes like they did with Crash Bandicoot. That, that stupid Walk chopping through. sound effect. Yeah. Chomp. Chomp. You fucking ruined it. Vicarious Visions. Chomp. What talentless hat frauds. They should all be fired. And the they should let the fans make the remake, man. The color of the boxes <laughs> is still wrong. Chomp. That's right, I said it. Chomp. Uh, ever since Sonic Mania, I've noticed that becoming a thing in communities, by the way. This is starting to really bother me. What's that? Everyone's oh, like, let the fans make yeah, the game? Yeah, it's like, fire the developers and make the fans do it. They're the ones who care. I'm like, there's a fucking one, like, fluke of magical capability for that Sonic Mania to get made and actually well, be good. here's the thing. So, Sonic fans have been kicked around so much that, of course, like, there's gonna be a fan base, or a, 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 a group of fans that have like this giant fire lit under their ass that they're just like I'm gonna make an actually good game hmm. where Spyro fans haven't been kicked around that much yeah but if you look at like Christian Whitehead like he's been working on that shit for like 10 plus years like yeah. it's not like it's not a simple thing of like just hire the fans it's like so many magical what ifs fell exactly into the right place for Sonic Mania it's not like a surefire thing of like just hire fans yeah, I mean, like everyone's you know, like, "Fire Sonic Team, just hire fans." Like, have you seen a good 3D Sonic fan game? Chris, Chris goes home. <laughs> Chris goes home, and he has an email from Toys for Bob, and they're like, "Dear Mr. Dakota's fan." Actually, we're all hired fans. So you're a <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> we ain't worked on a game before. We just stole their name. <laughs> you fucking idiot! I cannot wait to see these guys in HD. By the way, yeah, I he blocked you in. <laughs> I got to too. I'm like, oh shit. Hi, Sheila. Let's play as our joke. <laughs> Let's murder this baby dragon. Yeah, Sheila doesn't have any stake in the dragon race. She can just eat this Wait guy. Wait glasses don't blink. Wait a minute. This girl, I should say. Um, was, that, was that dragon Urkel? Yeah. Jenny the Urkel. Did I do that? <laughs> 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 That's the noise they make, right? I was, I, I was saying this before we... Uh, Started. I want my crop remake. How about one and two? How about Rhinox? It was, it, was, it was big news to me that Croc had a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I have not played the sequel. Big but... ass news. Uh, Watching the Gobos? Gobo? Gobo. Oh, Gobo, see, Gobo. I, I, I always, as a Gobo, kid, Gobo? as a kid, I always pronounced it Gobos, but I think it's technically Gobos. And what was it in Banjo? Globos? Banjo Tui? Yeah, Globos. <sighs> gotcha. For some reason, I got those two mixed up. My, my favorite way the uh, remaster was revealed was I think it was just the official PlayStation UK Twitter account just tweeted trouble to try these. Hey, was like ah oh, yes, oh. <laughs> those fuckers. Trouble <laughs> <laughs> the tree tops. Oh man, tree tops looks pretty cool. Are they, are they already shown off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the screenshots with Spyro as like the central focal point is tree tops. I'm like. Mm -hmm. That looks, it, that looks good. I, I saw some fans, apparently, that, apparently they gave Sparks tans. Oh, oh, Sparks. That's the one thing I'm still trying to get used to. Is, um, is dying? Collision yeah. detection. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Sparrow. Man, Sparks looks... Uh, how, do you, how do you how do you guys feel about Sparks? I mean, he looks like a bug. Like, I've been... 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 I
Let me know what you think. Because okay, look it up now. I'd oh. say that's one thing where I'm like, please just adapt the original look and not do what you're doing, please. It's really scary. I guess I don't have to kill these guys. I've, well, to complete the objective, I do. Sorry, genocide's cool. <laughs> so I was telling, I was telling Gareth before we started. Um, now I kind of want. Get fucked, TJ. I kind of want um, Banjo Kazooie like yeah. HD remaster. Oh, you mean like the one on Xbox 360? Thank you. That's what I said. Hey, you should, it, it you should get rare replay. TJ, that is, that is no, a, a it HD, it's a, it's, it's a HD they, remaster, because these, I know, I, I know we call them remasters, but the Insane Trilogy and the fucking Ignis Trilogy, they're remakes. Okay, Activision want, calls them remasters, but those are definitely remakes. I want, yeah. okay, I want Banjo-Kazooie remade. I feel like we're three years away from Microsoft just being like, ah, I don't fucking know, we need something, the fucking Banjo-Kazooie. Did you... Did you did you see the um, the thing the other day um, where the they inter somebody some some uh, blog interviewed a guy from Rare and they were like they're like oh we're 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 totally open for people to to take on our old IPs and it's just like we're not gonna fucking do it then fucking give it to somebody they should hire the fans to make a Banjo Kazooie uh, remake <laughs> Banjo Mania I ca I, I can't find the picture of Sparks. Uh, well, it's, it's not focused on Sparks. It's just certain pictures that are... I'll have him in there? Have him prominently. Like, there's one where Spyro is a huge central point of the left side of the image. Oh, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you see that? See what I'm talking about now? <laughs> they, they gave him paws and a big goofy mouth. Yeah, <laughs> and his head structure. I, mm. I wonder I wonder if he'll be mm. voiced by Billy West again. Uh, it'll probably just be the... <laughs> they put in this game. Uh, give it a bit. If you're, if you're going to give him... Humanoid features like that, give him a voice. There's Nan. It's my grandmother. Oh, it's Nan. There's been some speculation that he's more uh, fully featured that he's going to speak. They but. did, they did know, they did, un unlike with Crash Bandicoot, they did say something about like, re like, um, I forget the exact wording was improving, but they did, they specifically pointed out cinematics. Mm. So it, it that to me implied they're going to be, it, it won't be as one to one as the Crash insane trilogy was with how those cutscenes were essentially like the same dialogue the same shots kind of thing yeah yeah although i think i think insane trilogy uh, ruined not ruined but like it's <laughs> uh, there's, there's a few there's a few shots in insane trilogy where i don't think it, it's as mm. it, as good as it is in the original but like, like mm. at the start of, of um crash Bandicoot 2 when uh cortex and engine are in the uh the cortex's uh, spaceship and um, Injun is like, Dr. Cortex, we don't have no longer have any earthbound operatives. Like, in the original, Cortex just keeps looking out the window. As he said, like, you fool, I know that. We'll have to find an enemy in the room. He's like, turns around, he's a fucking moving his head and shit. And it's just, like, it's animation. It, it's more animated, and, and I get that, but I think from a, from a kind of uh, Cortex, his, his character, and making him more of a slightly imposing villain. It was cooler, I thought, when he was just, like, looking out the window. And I think with that, that'll bring us to the end of part one of Spiral 3. Oh, I didn't even get to voice my opinion on that. I asked TJ to keep track at 20 minutes, but he can't do fucking anything right. Whoa. I was trying to look for that picture of Sparks. I th yeah, w which we started talking about two minutes ago, which was already past 20 minutes. You are a fucking idiot. And I hate you. I really like Spyro. <laughs>